how do you choose your mantra? Well, ideally the mantra is given by the guru. Ideally. And the reason that it's ideal is when the guru gives a mantra, it's not like giving someone a Christmas present or Hanukkah present or Diwali present where it's like you just think, Acha, what would they like? Okay, maybe this, maybe that, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you know, choose one. It's not like that. When the guru gives the mantra, the guru is actually transmitting the guru's own blessings and grace and shakti in that mantra. When the guru whispers that mantra to you, it's not just hear the words, it's here is the power. And so it's even said that when you get a mantra from a guru that you're literally getting all of the sadhana from the whole lineage, the whole parampara of gurus. So the guru who gave it to you, that guru's guru, that guru's guru, that whole lineage, that in the transmission of a mantra, all of that sadhana gets transmitted. And so it's much, much, much more powerful and also the other thing, the other reason that it's more powerful is the guru is able to understand what will work for you. See, remember, it's a science. It's the science of sound. And so, you know, if, take this example. If five people walk into a Western allopathic doctor and say, I have a headache. Chances are the allopathic doctor is going to give all five of them a Tylenol or an Advil or an aspirin. An Ayurvedic doctor is going to feel the pulse and is going to say, ah, you have a headache because you're dehydrated. You have a headache because you're stressed. You have a headache because there's too much heat in your body, right? And is going to give different, different medicine, even though the symptom is the same. The underlying cause is different, and therefore the medicine is different. And in the same way, when you go to the guru with basically, save me, Well, we're all drowning. We're all drowning in this thing called humanity. We're drowning in these things called our egos and our identities. And I mean, we're all drowning essentially in the same ocean. But we're drowning in slightly different ways for slightly different reasons. Some of us have weights on the bottom of our feet. Some of us had, you know, too heavy of a lunch. Some just really don't know how to swim. Some, you know, whatever the reason may be. Someone's gotten caught in a riptide and it's pulling them out. So again, the, the surface layer symptom looks the same. Yeah, we're all drowning in our egos. But what the guru is able to do, the same way the Ayurvedic doctor does for the body, is to say, ah, the treatment for your drowning is the mother goddess. In this way, in this sound. Ah, the treatment for your drowning is Lord Shiva. In this mantra with this sound. The treatment for your drowning is... The, and give it in that way. So it really serves as your individualized life raft. And if you, don't, if you don't have a guru yet, don't worry. Because again, all of the mantras are sacred. They're all very, very powerful. I would say choose whatever feels right to you, whatever touches you. Fantastic. Mom can give them the first, the first mantra. If later they have a guru and they decide to take another mantra, they can. But yeah, for now.